Good morning. It is Monday, June 29th, 2020. I am back here in bed from bed with bed talk number 71. And my question to you today is what are you choosing to carry? What are you choosing to carry? Originally, I was going to call it what are you choosing to notice? Then I realized that it was more about choices of carrying versus choices of noticing. Over the weekend, I watched a movie that a friend of mine recommended. It's called About Time. It's got Rachel McAdams. That was the main actor that I knew in it. It's a number of years old. And the basic storyline is that the lead male character, everyone in his family, the male members of that family, can travel back in time. They can't travel forward in time. They can go back in time. But it wasn't about time travel like most movies. It wasn't about going back hundreds of years and exploring history, it was basically having the opportunity to redo parts of their lives. And I remember when his father told him about it, and I missed it the first time around, what he really said is a great way to use that gift is to go back and have a different experience of your life. And then I realized that while there were times where this young man was going back to change things and make them better, a lot of it was about having a different perspective of his day. So I remember the first example. He was going through his day, and he got home, and his girlfriend said, how was your day? And he said, it was awful, or it was bad, or something like that, because what he was carrying from his day was all the things that went wrong. And then he went back, as he can do very quickly, and he went back in time and re-experienced the day and saw the joy, the laughter, the abundance, the gratitude. So basically, the second time around, <coughs> he chose to see things differently. Now, you and I don't get that opportunity. We don't get to redo our days. I guess we could at the end of the day and sort of flash back, but we certainly don't get the opportunity, like this character in this movie, to go back in time and see our day differently. We get one shot to see our day. And while we might notice everything, we choose what we carry forward. We choose, I guess, what we focus on. We choose what we decide to really inform our day and define our day. And what I've learned through this coronavirus is, I guess it's confirmed for me that I'm really good at making choices that serve me, my soul, the people around me, and the greater good. Someone recently said to me, you know, Jeff, you really don't think about things that are bad. And I said, no, I don't. I'm aware of things, but I don't carry them with me. They're data points. You know, for example, what's going on with the coronavirus, things here in Florida have had a dramatic uptick and people are freaking out. You know, and if they're making better choices, better health decisions, and better decisions about how they protect themselves and others, I love it. But to carry it forward and be afraid every day and to be freaked out every day, that's just not how I choose to live my life. That's not how I choose to carry things and pick them up and carry them through my life and through my day and through my experience and my descriptions of my day. So that's what I want you to think about tomorrow, even start today. As you go through your day, you may notice a lot of things, but what do you choose to pick up? What do you choose to carry with you? What do you choose to determine the kind of day you had, the kind of emotions you had, the kind of experience you had? And I think you're going to see that you can change those choices pretty easily, and it will fundamentally transform your experience. And the experience of all the people around you. So that's my question for the day. What are you choosing to pick up? What are you choosing to carry? You may notice everything, but you don't have to pick it all up and you certainly don't have to carry it all. And you certainly have the absolute choice as to whether you choose the, those items to be the basis for how you define your life and your daily experience. So keep taking care of yourself and everyone around you. And of course, stay connected. And I will see you tomorrow.